getting involved with this picture, I mean, I don't believe you've worked with Mr. Beresford before. No. Um, how did the role come to you, and, and how did you relish playing an older woman? My God, you look so different. <laughs> um, yeah, I did an Australian film in Melbourne uh, before this, and I actually won the Best Actress Award there um, for um, that film called The Home Song Stories. And right after that, uh, Jane Scott, the producer, and, and Bruce came to me. And I think naturally they thought the Chinese woman part. And I was just in Australia and I just won an award, so they came to me. And um, I guess just that, that, that's, that's how it, it came to me. Mm -hmm. And because of my own memory of the 80s, I was attracted to the story and also because of Bruce. I mean, not a lot I could do. The part is is limited, but I did the best I could with it. Uh -huh. Well, you did a great job. Can you talk <clears throat> a little bit about your own experience? I understand that you were plucked from obscurity to become mm -hmm. a professional mm -hmm. archer. Mm -hmm. Sort of a similar arc to the gentleman in this movie. Can you talk to us about that and how it related? I mean, that's one of the reasons I, I wanted to do the film. It's mm -hmm. that our paths are in a way similar. Um, that I was... I was 14, first year high school, and all of a sudden a group of people came and plucked me out. And then I went to the studio in the same way he left home, but he was younger, he was 11. Um, then we came to the United States at the same, same year, actually, okay. exactly the same year. When I left China, I was the most adored little girl. Everybody had my picture on their wall, under the desk, and everywhere. And uh, so it was a big outrage that I left. Mm -hmm. It was a big betrayal. And then people, the public just turned on you, and the, the press turned on you. And, and then on and off for different reasons, I couldn't go back. So it's, it's Have you similar. found a similar thing in your own work, that capitalism pre presents greater obstacle than the government? I don't know, greater or lesser, but um, yeah, th they're both obstacles. Uh, now, every artist has to be commercially viable, just like uh, in Hollywood. And uh, you, you, the, the films have to make money. Though the government censors the films, they don't uh, fund the films anymore. So the, you, you privately fund half of it, probably. There is some publicly fund film. The government funds certain thematically um, um, correct um, films. And then everybody else has to raise funds, just like here. So it's a different struggle. It's a different struggle. It's, it's actually a, a, a double struggle. Yes. Okay, well.